one so I'm here to show you the kids Christmas Eve basket I will leave previous years below I think I've done this for the last maybe four or five years um, and the last well the last couple of years I've used the same crate I use this actually in my office um, but I just empty it out and use it for the Christmas Eve stuff I just find it's nice a crate and then I find some something nice to go around it I think these um, berries berry vine is from I think it's from Ikea I've, I just ha found it in my sort of Christmas Christmassy stash so um yeah I've just wrapped it around just to make it a little bit more festive I don't really have anything other fest anything other festive in my house at the moment so this is right at the beginning um, but I've been working on this basket for a little while and everything in there is pretty cheap but um, there's some staple stuff that I like to put in. Um, so I'm going to just pull things out and show you what I've got. So I'm going to start with Paddington up here. You may have seen these. Paddington 2 has just come out and they're doing the gold. They actually do the coloured versions as well. As in, um, he's in his usual attire, red hat, blue, blue coat. But they do the gold version. Um, these are from M&S. Um, and they're four pounds and I really just wanted to get one because I thought they were cute and it would match my sort of gold tree as well my gold red and green tree so yeah I put pop that in I think the kids will like him so from Marks and Spencer I got the children in their pajamas I didn't want to go for anything too like crazy festive but also nothing too pricey because some of them are so expensive just because they're Christmas pajamas um, I've done matching actually the last few years but I couldn't really find any matching ones that I liked um, like I said these are from M&S these are the sort of Christmas ball balls uh, they were £10 and I got Violet in the age of 5 to 6 because you can see they are quite big and she is still quite little. So um, I got her those ones. I really love the quality as well. It's really nice and soft. And then Alistair, not so Christmassy but more wintry. And again, he can just wear these whenever. I got him the 9 to 10. He's 8 and a half. He's quite long, quite tall. So I got him the 9 to 10. I'm sure they might be a little bit big on the waist. But they're basically just mooses and the odd one has red antlers. So, yeah, I thought they were quite cool. And again, I think they were £11 just because you have to pay a little bit more just as you go up the sizes. So they are pyjamas for Christmas this year. Um, where, where should we go? Right. Treat-wise, I got the chocolate Kinder Minis. I just got these from the pound store. Uh, that's pretty much the only treats I've popped in the basket this year. These Christmas uh, light up balloons. This one has a reindeer on it and it says Merry Christmas. These are from the pound store. I think it says there's two in there. I'm not sure. What does that mean? Excuse the dogs. But yeah, LED 15 hour. This one says Santa stop here. I just thought they were a little bit of fun. Um, so they were from the pound store and they had a huge choice as well. This was just a couple that I picked up. Um, also from the pound store, I picked up the deluxe jumbo elf snap cards. Like we love playing snap. It's the easiest game for the kids as well. And they are huge as well. So I thought that would be fun. We could play that on Christmas Eve and just over Christmas. So from Marks and Spencer, I picked up the Paddington and the Christmas Visitor. So this um, is basically a Christmassy book. I just thought it would be nice. It's a little bit different. We pretty much have every single Christmas book going now. The kids are just older and we have every book. Um, so this is just one we don't have. It was £3, so really reasonable. And then £2 goes to it goes to um, the child line, which is really, really good. So I got that. Picking up two DVDs. I bought Elf because I was moaning about how I only watched it once last year. I'm not sure if they're going to put it back on TV. But I just thought, I'm just going to buy the DVD. And it was only a couple of pounds my favorite and then norm of the north i don't think we've seen this and it was literally like i think it was maybe two or three pounds so i just picked that one up as well it's a couple of weeks ago the gingerbread christmas tree kit basically just has everything in there it's not the best for you but i thought it would be fun to make over the christmas period uh you just add butter and golden syrup and that's pretty much it like everything is done so yeah that'd be fun to do i think it was three pounds or 350 from asda from the pound store i got them some stickers there's a two pack two sheets in there Always got to have Christmassy stickers. I also picked up the Christmas characters. So there's nine in there from the pound store. And then you can decorate them with different 
bits that they have. I thought that would be just a bit of fun and just super easy for them to just crack on and, you know, just entertain themselves for half an hour. I got two of these Christmas scraper foil activities. These were only a pound from the entertainer and I got them when I was in Whiteley Village actually. Um, and they're both different actually, they can choose which one they want. But I thought, it, again, it was just an activity and, and something a little bit different. They're older now, so they can sort of do this sort of thing. I thought it would be a bit, bit of fun. From the entertainer, I picked up Slime Bath. <laughs> I've seen these around, and it basically turns your, your bath like into green slime. It's um, It says non-irritant and stain-free, which is always a good thing, especially with a white bath. Uh, this was, I think, it was about £4 or £5. I usually actually always get them... Um, lush bath bombs or lush sort of play-doh bath stuff but I saw this and I wasn't really around a lush um, so I thought this would just be a little bit of fun they have a lot of different um, other ones they've got glitter slime as well um, so yeah I just thought that would be a bit of fun they can use it um, it feels quite like there's a lot in here as well so maybe we could use it for more than one bath maybe a couple of items that I also got from the entertainer. These were also a pound. It's a Christmas activity pack. There's loads of stuff in there. Drawing, you could write down to a letter. Um, yeah, it says what you what, what's in there. And I thought for a pound, again, it's a bit of a bargain. And literally the last three items, I picked up this little elf from... I think it was Home Bargains. He was only one ninety nine, and we've never had Elf on the shelf or Elf anything actually before. But I saw him and I thought he was super cheap and he was a little bit cheeky, so I thought I'd get him. Um, I also found this, which made me... I got this first, which made me get him. So um, this was from the pound store. It says Elf Mail. And it's just basically a little glass bottle. And I actually printed out and popped in. I found this on Google Images. I literally just screenshotted it and then typed in like script writing Alistair and Violet. So it says, official document from the North Pole. This is a notice to inform you that Alistair and Violet have been placed on the nice list. Keep up the good behavior. I will be checking my list twice. Authorized signature Santa Claus. I just thought that was a little bit cute, so I printed it out and cut it out and I'm just going to roll it up like it was and pop it in that bottle. And because it says elf male, I just thought it was adorable, that's why I got the elf as well. So I think that will really um, excite the children, so that's why I got that. That's from the pound store and then this is also from Poundland. Um, this is just a little Santa mug. I just thought this would be a good idea to put his milk in and put his mince pie under there. We actually do have a personalised plate already, which we've had for a few years, but I thought that would be just an added extra. So yeah, that is pretty much everything I have put in the kids um, Christmas Eve basket this year. It's quite a lot of stuff actually. I think this is probably the most I've put in over the years, um, but I feel like there's, I didn't really spend a lot um, you know, everything was pretty much a pound or two pounds. Nothing was really overpriced. I try not to spend too much because Christmas itself is obviously an expensive time of year. I give this to them, if you're wondering, Christmas Eve morning. Just because I feel like that's when really you kind of wake up. Oh my God, it's the day before Christmas. You get a bit excited and they can play with this stuff and we can watch a Christmas Eve movie. Um, and then obviously they have baths. And they can use slime and also um, pop on their new pyjamas. So yeah, that is pretty much their basket. I really hope you enjoy this video and I will see you all soon.